Hello and welcome to this workshop where I will show you how you can create this lovely baby toy with your circular knitting machine with 20 or 22 needles. What do we need? We need seven different colors if you like, some stuffing, of course a pair of scissors, your yarn needle, one or two rattle boxes, a crochet hook, not for crochet, but we are going to use it. I'm using a five, six millimeter, but it's not very important. I will show later in this video how to use it. You can make this toy with a circular knitting machine with 20 or 22 needles. You can use all these kind of circular knitting machines. And that's it. So, hey yo, let's go. Our pattern. We have to knit seven tubes. One tube we are going to cast on and cast off with scrap yarn. I'm going to explain later. And you have to knit 17 five rows. Scrap yarn, cast on and cast off. And you need to knit six rows with scrap yarn, 50 rows main color. And finish that also off with the scrap yarn part. I will demonstrate how to do that. Hello and welcome to this quick scrap yarn workshop. In this workshop I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can add and remove your scrap yarn in one second and can reuse it over and over. First I'm going to start to knit with my scrap yarn a couple of rows. And then I'm going to change to another color of scrap yarn. I'm just cutting my yarn, putting it to the inside between the last and the first needle. And then I take another piece of scrap yarn and put it into my feeder, also between the last and the first needle. Make sure that the tails are long enough to reach the table. And knit one round, so every single needle has to pick the color once. I'm cutting my yarn and putting my tail between the last and the first needle as every tail I have used and then I'm taking my working yarn. I'm hanging a long piece of thread inside my machine because I'm going to use it to pick up my stitches and do whatever I want to do with them. I'm going to demonstrate to you how I like to close my tube. But first, you have to put your yarn between the last and the first needle. And then you are going to knit. So what have we done? We have started with scrap yarn, changed to another color and knit one round with scrap yarn. And now I'm just knitting my desired pattern. That's not interesting because that's for a special project. And now I'm finished. I'm cutting my yarn a long piece because I want to use it to close my tube. I'm taking it out of the feeder between the last and the first needle again. And then I'm going to put my scrap yarn into my feeder between the last and the first needle and I'm going to knit one round. See, just the same place all the time between the last and the first needle. One round, so every needle just picks the yellow color in this case one time. I'm taking it out of the feeder and I'm taking another piece of scrap yarn And I'm going to knit a couple of rounds with, with the scrap yarn. And after knitting a couple of rounds, there are no rules. I'm just cutting my yarn and knitting until my work drops from the machine. 
So I'm continue cranking when my yarn runs out until my project comes loose. Now I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to close the tube. I'm using my crochet hook. I'm using five and a half millimeter, but some people like to use thicker or thinner needle. It doesn't matter. It's what you like and that what fits your uh, work. So I have knitted my work. I'm uh, stretching it. And now I have both ends with scrap yarn. This is why I uh, changed my color. I'm going to take out all of the ends and I'm looking for the working yarns. They are a bit tangled because I took a little bit too long ends, but better safe than sorry. And now you can easily recognize your stitches. You have to look at the stitches in the color of your working yarn between the scrap yarn pieces. And there are 22 stitches or 46 or 48 in the round. And I'm going to close them by pairs. So on the right, I have all those tails and now I'm going to find my last and first stitch. You can easily recognize them because we have the pieces of yarn hanging at the end, the first and the last stitch. This is my first stitch. I'm poking, poking my needle in from the outside to the inside. And then I'm going to find the last stitch where the working yarn is coming out from. And I'm poking in from in to outside. That's my first pair. In total, I have to connect 11 pairs. So that's easy to see. And when I'm done, I can remove my scrap yarn in a second. I'm finding my working yarn and I'm going to pull through the yarn through both loops. And then I'm going to pick up the next pair and pulling the yarn through all loops on my hook. I do that for all the 11 pairs. Keep counting them so you won't miss anything. I speed up my video because this is not where the workshop is for. But you can do, see me doing this in many workshops that are coming up. So I already have about 60 different project and instruction videos. You can find them in my circular knitting machine playlist on my channel. When I have to find my last pair, pair, last pair, I just poke them out a little bit. And now it's finished. Oh. My tube is closed. I'm making a single stitch. And now I'm ready to remove my scrap yarn. We knitted with the yellow or I knitted with the yellow once one round and I'm just going to pick up that lonely piece of yarn and I'm pulling just at that one single strand. And this is where the magic happens. You can just pull it out of your work and you can re reuse it. And then you can take off the big piece of scrap yarn. You can just reuse it. And my tube is closed. I will demonstrate it again for the other side of this tube. But first I'm going to stick in my yarn end. So finished. At the other end it's exactly the same. Make sure that all the pieces of yarn are on the outside and untangled. 
find yourself the first pair. It's where the scrap yarn starts and begins. I took a real long piece. So find your two stitches. You can easily find them because we have the pieces of yarn going through. This is my working end. This is my last knitted stitch. And this is my first stitch. So I'm picking those two stitches up. And I'm going to close the tube. This is my first pair. And the next 10 pairs I have to do the same. I will speed up again. And I'm almost finished, so I'm going to find my last and 11th pair of stitches to close. And then the fun part comes again of removing the scrap or waste yarn. Very quick and ready to reuse. I'm going to pull out that, that one piece of strand. And there is the rest and it's finished and that simple is it to use scrap yarn and remove it and don't throw it away when your seven tubes are closed and the yarn ends are tucked away you are ready for the next step i'm going to use my rattle box and some stuffing a piece of yarn and my yarn needle I'm going to demonstrate with other colors so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to start with my first tube. I'm folding it and then I'm looking at the stitches at the edges of my flat tube and I'm going to use those bars between the V-stitches. You see on the edge there are those V-stitches and when you stick your needle in that right track you will find those vertical bars and we are going to join them i stick my needle into the first under the first bar of the first half and then i find my bar at the opposite side at the corner the bar that's closest to the corner and i pull through my yarn i don't pull it all the way and then I continue by sticking my needle in where I came out at the first part. It's a big hole and then I will pick up two vertical bars. You follow that train track. And then I'm going to do exactly the same at the opposite uh, side. I'm going to stick my needle in where I came out and pick up two bars. Stick my needle in where I came out on the opposite side on the two bars. Stick in where I came out, on the two bars, in, two bars out, in, two bars out, in, two bars out. Start stuffing your uh, tube light. Don't stuff it uh, full, it's not necessary, it's just that your tube won't collapse. And continue closing the tube. And if you want to put a rattle in, just put it in the tube while you're closing it. Don't overstuff, it's not necessary. And make sure that your stuffing doesn't come out when closing the tube.
pull the yarn and the tube will close seamless. Don't pull the yarn all the way through. We need the yarn to finish our circles. So leave the yarn on when you have finished off closing the tube. Don't forget to put stuffing in because it's easier when it's not closed all the way. Go as far as you can, stay on track, and when you're done, just pull the yarn so the seam will close. And that's it for now. Don't cut your yarn because we need it. And continue with the remaining six tubes. And when you are finished with the remaining six tubes, we are going to continue to the next step. We are going to close the six short tubes into rings. I'm going to continue with the yellow one with a green piece of yarn so you can see what I'm doing. I'm pulling my yarn through the tube so I have a long piece of yarn to work with and the short tail I keep for closing the tube later. I'm folding my tube into a circle. Making sure that the two yarn ends join each other, come to each other. And then I'm going to close the tube. How am I going to do that? I will pick up the V stitches at the edge of both sides of the tubes. Look at the V stitches, they are shaped like a V. Find your first V stitch on the half just next to the yarn end and pull through your needle. Then find at the opposite side also just next to the seam the first, you think the first V-stitch. You really have to find the V-stitch and pull through the yarn. Don't pull it through all the way. And then continue picking up the next V-stitch next to the last one and do that also at the opposite end. And continue joining those stitches. You can just roll your donut or your ring so you can always see where to work. And continue joining all those V-stitches to each other. When you have done a few stitches, you can pull through the yarn. But first I will continue a few stitches. Now I'm going to pull my yarn. Don't pull it harder than necessary. Just pull it until it stops, because otherwise you will make your circle smaller. So, now I'm going to continue 
with picking up those v-stitches I'm looking through the camera and yellow is not very visible for me. I'm just turning my ring so I can keep on continuing what I am doing. Don't forget to put stuffing in the ring if you want some more stuffing. I want some more stuffing, so I'm going to put some more stuffing into my ring. And I'm going to continue joining those last V stitches. I'm pulling my yarn to close the seam and then I'm almost done so I just continue picking up those V's until I think I have picked them up all and then I'm just going to join those two yarn tails with a knot don't pull it too hard because then you will pull your ring tighter and the second knot too secure and then I'm putting my yarn tails into my yarn needle and I will stick it into the stuffing and let it come out somewhere else and pull through the yarn And then you can cut off those two yarn ends and your first ring is ready. So continue making the remaining five rings. My six rings are ready. So now I'm going to finish off my baby toy. I have my seventh uh, tube and I'm going to put those rings onto the tube and then I'm going to close the tube the same way we did close all the rings so I'm putting the yarn end into my needle and then I will find the beginning spot to join the tubes and that's on the left of the two yarn ends that come out of the tubes. So continue joining this tube the same way we did with the six rings. I keep connecting those V stitches all the way around If you want more stuffing, don't forget to put it in. And when you think you're done, you just knot those two tails together. Put them into your yarn needle. And stick it through the stuffing of this tube. Cut off your last yarn tails, yarn ends and your baby toy is finished so time to play
If you liked this workshop, give me a thumb up and look at the description of the video to find more information about circular knitting machines and me. Bye bye with love from Holland.